Welcome back guys, Crypto for Life channel. Today we'd like to talk about uh, TradingView tools. Today we're gonna talk about uh, lines. Let's dive in. First of all, guys, I already made a big video, big tutorial of uh, how to work with TradingView, the tutorial for beginners, how you can organize your workflow to save a lot of times. So just a few tips and tricks with the lines. First, what you can do, it's a mark with a star. Add uh, this tool to your favorite. So this is my favorite tool, this one. And I can add, for example, horizontal line, this one. So you can find out this gonna be added to my favorites. First of all, you choose the trend line. And for example, this is a chart on 12 out of frame uni. And you can mark the liquidity pools. So you can use the shortcut, hold command or control and add to some level this one hold then how you can uh, use the line straight because for example you can add it like this one but if i would like to use it straight i have to hold shift this one this is without shift this is with shift it's straight when you add a line now in trading view you can add the text here text plus low or you can click two times go into text section and add any low like this one. Another useful feature on a lines or any other instruments, it's a visibility. So take a look, we add the line on 12 hour time frame to this low. When I click two times, I can go to visibility, this one. For example, I don't wanna see this line on a daily time frame and a weekly time frame. So I can press OK, this one, and take a look. When I go to daily time frame, this line disappear. It's uh, remove all noise, like higher time frame. Then I go back to 12 time frame, 4 hour time frame, 30 minutes time frame, I see this line. On the daily and the weekly, this line has disappeared. Next things, what I recommended to do with the lines, it's create a templates. So you choose the line and go in here, templates. And here's my templates. So you can make a post and do the same. So when I mark the line at some specific level, I don't spend the time uh, with the texting, right? This is my target, gonna be the target, or this is gonna be like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's uh, previous day low. And create, save as, create a template. So you will save a lot of time with this template. Array, array basically it's like horizontal line. So you can add it to the bottom here and you can use it in any direction for example it's gonna be the horizontal like support or it can be a straight line right till infinity so it's extended a line the same way you can create as much as possible templates for rate next one it's info line so let's choose this one info line in style we can add a showing us the percentage change the price change for example in percentage the bar range so we can see uh, like 53 bars. We can use the date and time range. So you can use the line, for example, to remind the date. So we are at 26 days and 12 hour, just in the range, just in this range. Got it, this is a distance and angle. And you can add the always show stats. Also, we can use the info line like uh, support. So we can see we almost 4% up from that low and it took us 20 days and 12 hours and if we use the price range we can find out it's a 0.27 cents difference uh, here is a for example it's like one dollar 17 cents next one is extend line basically it's uh, the similar like uh, basic trend line uh, next one is a trend angle i basically never use uh, this uh, trend angle it's showing us uh, just a uh, angle of supports. Horizontal line is pretty uh, useful when you want to mark some uh, level on the whole chart. So you can add it here and you can find out the line on all charts uh, on full history. Uh, horizontal array, it's absolutely the same story like uh, with uh, array, but uh, you can't use uh, this array uh, like support. So the basic array you can use uh, like even uh, at an angle, like a support trend line array and horizontal array, it's uh, only flat direction. Next one is a vertical line. Uh, I basically use it to remind some K uh, events, some K uh, days, for example, I can mark this one and add some notes here. And for example, with the reply bar, I know. So the June 31 today, 
we will see the forms meeting and the decision about rate. So I add it here. I can add text forms wait this specific date and the cross line it's uh, give you the information about the support and the rejections lines with the days so guys i hope you like this video use these tips and tricks on trading view in the next video i will check another tool subscribe channel here's the like button notification button don't forget to join my telegram channel see you next time guys